Okay, so these videos are intended to bridge the gap from GCSE higher to A-level maths. So really to just get you ready for what you should be expecting to find in A-level, really. Um, so we're going to go through uh, a number of GCSE standard ideas, uh, build on them slightly, but it's just a taste of where this mathematics is going to be going and what your teacher uh, is really going to expect you to know uh, when you start around in September. Okay, So um, I know as a teacher of A-level maths that there are skills that aren't tested as much as maybe we would like in preparation at GCSE. So during the break um, from the end of the GCSE up until September, you've got this big long break in which you need to be preparing, um, working on your algebra skills and just getting them up to standards so that you are not, you're not going to hit a brick wall when it comes to the algebra that's required of you. So we're going to start off in this video with uh, this. Well, by the by the way, this isn't uh, meant to scare you or anything like that. I just want to make sure that you are in the best position that you possibly can be, and so that you're not going to get lost very quickly. We're going to start these videos off with uh, just some expanding brackets practice. Uh, you probably should be very good at this. But I just want to hone in on kind of which ways you might do it. Uh, but you need to be able to do this fairly speedily. So we're going to start off with this question one. This quite simple single bracket. Three lots of x plus two y. So I'm just going to try and go through like different ways that you might be used to doing this. You may well have been taught to set it out in a grid. That's a possibility. Um, I originally never was. Uh, really, the way I was taught to do this was to look at 3 times x and just draw on some arrows initially. Obviously, the arrows will disappear once you get confident with it. So we have 3 lots of x is 3x, and 3 lots of 2y makes 6y. Okay, So I'm immediately simplifying it. So we have 3x plus 6y. The second one, minus 2 lots of 2x minus 3, really this is just a case of making sure you're alright with negative numbers and how they multiply. So we have minus 2 times the 2x and minus 2 times minus 3. So minus 2 times 2x is minus 4x and minus 2 times minus 3 is plus 6. Okay, So this can be written either way around, minus 4x plus 6 or you could write that as 6 minus 4x. Okay? And it's this being able to rearrange algebra into different ways, uh, but equivalent ways, that is also an important factor that you must be prepared for. Now, the double bracket, if I get rid of that, the double bracket you may well have done this in a table as well, depending on how you were taught. There's no one way of teaching it, no right way really, okay? But it just depends what you're comfortable with. You may have learnt it that way. Uh, once again, I wasn't taught that way originally, but I'm happy to go with whatever you were taught. So we have x times 2x and x times the 3 minus 2 times the 2x, and minus 2 times the 3. Effectively, I've got to multiply everything in the first bracket by everything in the second bracket. So we have x times 2x makes 2x squared. x times the 3 is 3x. Minus 2 times 2x is minus 4x. And we have minus 2 times 3 is minus 6. So we've got 2x squared. 3x take away 4x is minus x, and minus 6 at the end. Okay, so that's multiplying out the double brackets. 
Um, I, ex I would hope also that after practice with this, um, you would be getting confident enough to be able to do that in your head as well. Okay, um, don't immediately be trying to do that, but you, just when you are confident. Okay, so it is a process whereby uh, you might have to write it down like that. You might be able to write it straight off. Okay, it really depends upon your confidence, and that is really going to depend on how much practice and effort you put in. Okay, so that's the first video on expanding brackets. We're going to move on to linear equations next.